My favorite sponge lackey has returned. With lots of jelly, I hope. Aye, aye, Cassandra. But can you use it to restore Squidward's vocabulary? It kind of got lost in all the cosmic chaos. This precious jelly is not to be wasted on the minor inconveniences of a bald sea critter. This is about the big, the really big, the biggest picture. My once-in-a-lifetime opportunity for world domin- I mean saving. Saving the world. Mm-hmm. Well, if you can't help Squidward, I gotta find someone who can. Someone who has a way with words. Someone with a vast vocabulary. But who? Oh, how about Gary? That's a great idea! Gary's a well-read master of linguistic finesse, and he definitely has a book or two that'll help Squidward. Let's check out his library right away. Yeah, plus he knows how to say meow. Boy, well, when you finish that, here's a new cosmic costume for your next jelly run. Tis I, Sir Squarepants, ready to rescue another companion! Huzzah! <laughs> Look! The pumpkins are smiling! Oh yeah! What's so funny? Oh boy, I always get hungry when we go to a library. Don't you remember what happened last time, Patrick? The no food and drink sign is there for a reason. The food on the sign is what always makes me hungry. That one will help Squidward for sure. That should do the trick, Patrick. Let's go back to Squidward. This book will help you find the right words again, Squidward. After all, it helped Gary to learn all those fancy expressions he uses. <laughs> I hope all our missing friends are still okay. It's up to us to bring them back. Looks like... Oh, this is the slide ever! So this is what space looks like. Oh, these clouds are so fluffy! And they float just like me! SpongeBob. And home. What flavor do you think it is?
into thine princess's window! Fear not, my Whaley. It is Sir Sponge Kinney Bottom, here to rescue you with his loyal squire, Patrick! Square Patrick? I thought you were the square one! Unless, have I been SpongeBob all along? Stop it, your childish shenanigans! Oh, forget it! Listen, SpongeBob, I'm about to throw the most coral slumber party the sea has ever seen! There's gonna be cake, and a band, and popular girls from all corners of the realm, and they're all coming to celebrate me, the princess! <laughs> I'm not going anywhere! This rescue might take a little longer than I was expecting, Patrick. You should call me SpongeBob. Oh, whatever. Bye. Oh. <gasps> ah! No! What a huge rock! Looks more like a castle to me. Well, whatever it is, I sure like to live under it. Chafing. I think there's a way through now. Save Pearl. No problem. We can fix it easy. Peasy. All you gotta do is find all the pieces, lick them, stick them back together. Cassandra won't even notice. Patrick, that's brilliant. Let's hope it works on magic bubble wands. I will. Just like, uh, fix your TV and your bookshelf and Gary's food bowl. Yes, I'll take that. Oh, yeah, I let your refrigerator back together. Oh, I didn't have to explain how to get back in the first place. With a little licking stick, that faucet was leaky for months. I licked your windows back together once too. Well, that hurt, but you never know. I smashed it with a hammer. Oh, I just remembered. I also licked your fireplace back together. That was spicy.
Captain stick your garage door back together, too! Uh, don't open that door. you think you are going? There are options? Well, I want to go to Finland! Only those who come bearing invitations may enter. And even then, there's no boys allowed. Unless they're in the band. Are you in the band? Tragically, my duties robbeth the princess of the elevating experience that are my melodies. I am forced to cast other, more mediocre talents and tell sea urchins like yourself to get out of here! Maybe this is the entrance to the castle. We should come back with all the bubble wand pieces. And a compass. No talent, no entrance. <laughs> Look, Patrick, I think there's some animal trapped in this cage. Oh boy, oh boy, maybe it's a giraffe! We should probably free it from its cage, whatever it is. What flavor do you think it is? The princess's animal is so majestic! Oh, won't they let it off soon?
coming soon. Ah. I saw something shiny at the bottom of the well. I bet it's something cool. Uh, oh, hey, Penny. The princess's animal is so majestic! I hope they let it out soon! such a majestic creature. The colorful mane, the sparkly eyes, and that piece of bubble wand in its mouth. Quick, we have to catch it! Don't let the unicorn die! It's too pretty! <laughs> so really fast. 
Patrick, look! That old house looks like it belongs to a witch! Maybe the unicorn is hiding behind it! That can must taste... Look at me! Put that jelly in the belly! a good girl. I'm Twitchy the Witchy. And what brings you to my cabin in the woods? Greetings, Miss Witchy. I'm Sir SpongeBob. My balloon buddy Patrick and I followed your, uh, handsome pet because it took something of ours. Could you maybe convince it to give it back? Sorry, but if Rainbow finds it, I keep it. However, I might trade it for some of that miraculous Wrinkly's Pro Aging Cream my coven has been buzzing about. They say it can wrinkle your skin enough to make you look twice your age. You got it, Twitchy. One batch of Wrinkly's Pro Aging Cream coming right up. How hard can it be to pick up some cosmetics? It can only be found in the most dangerous part of the woods, along the banks of the rushing river of Meanderson. There should be some left from the last shipment the baby-faced bandits raided. Fill up this bucket and I may trade you for it. You got it. A little dabble, do ya? Gee, that river looks so scenic. I could just swim in it. I probably couldn't swim out of it, though.
No more taping. to Twitchy before those bandits come back. She's going to be so excited when she sees how ugly this will make her. Oh, you're still alive? Good for ye. The last few heroes I sent out for cream never returned. The wrinkling has begun. Good job, you two. Beat it. Oh, thank you, ma'am. But first, we have a wand to repair. <laughs> Hand me that thing so I can fix it and you can leave me alone. Mm -hmm. Amateurs. Now get lost. Ooh. What a pro. Oh, I'm gonna lick that just as good as her. I don't care, I'm gonna do it anyway. My buns? Hear ye, hear ye. With the most excellent slumber party of all time almost upon us, the Princess of Wales calls on the kingdom's bards to heed her casting, uh, call. There is space yet for two poets who can earn the approval of her royal party planner's uh, unforgiving eardrums. Are you thinking what I'm thinking, Patrick? Definitely! But where are we going to find a school bus full of mayonnaise on such short notice? What? No! I meant we should try out for the band so we can get into the castle and save Pearl! Oh yeah! That's what I meant, too! That Harold is so helpful, I bet his nickname is Help Bob Squire Pants. Ah. Should thou wish to partake in this opportunity of a night time, <coughs> see what I did there, hurry to the royal courtyard. If Squidnote plays again this year, I might finally. Ooh, the auditions are starting to a sea dream. I can't wait for the auditions to start. I like to boo from the shadows. Another bard, another migraine. What doesn't one sacrifice for the crown? One's talent, one's pride, one's eardrums. But our royal blowhole decreed that not one of her subjects is to be turned away. Because everybody's got a talent. Ah, thou hath until I follow the sleep of thine mediocrity to earn my admiration, amazeth me.
ye, hear ye. Regretfully, the yellow sponge and his annoying balloon shall be royal bards at the princess's most excellent slumber party. The audience seemed to like their, uh, music. And besides, I have already rejected all the other contestants. Thou may enter the castle. Don't screw it up. <laughs> I like it cause I- Oh wow! Me. to find out. For you and me! Oh, 
it's Princess Pearl. I think something's wrong. Yeah, she looks like a real sad sack. No more chafing. <laughs> so gooey. The waiting staff have all fled. Who will serve my their well-earned cake slices? You? As if I'm a princess, you royal doofus. That would be totally uncoral. Gosh, Pearl. I mean, Princess Pearl. I'm sorry. Don't worry. Patrick and I will serve the cake. Let them eat cake. <laughs> Need a little break from the dance. So good. was a success after all. Now let's get out of here. Maybe I can still make it to the sale of the mall. Yeah, the mall. That's absolutely still there. Probably. Uh, now then, I'll just use the magic bubble wand to whisk us away. This music is terrible. Thankfully, a true bard is here now. Let the real festivity begin.
forte ever. I could totally hug you right now. I don't want to pop you. <laughs> yeah, I get that a lot. I'm not a balloon. You can still hug me. <sighs> okay, I guess you've earned it. We did it, Patrick! Everyone is safely back in Bikini Bottom. Now we just need to find the Krusty Krab so I can go to work tomorrow. Well, I wish I could go to work. This day off has been exhausting. Just don't tell any of the popular kids at school that I hugged you. Now I go find my dad to make sure he's okay. With driving me to the mall. They're having a sale on princess dresses. <laughs> Later!